how it would sit at this old black upright typewriter. This 1932 monster of a typewriter, mechanical, where you really had to strike the keys with, with gusto. And he'd sit down there and he would type for hours. He was self-condemned to be in his office every day at his typewriter. The young people who came of age in the 30s, like Howard, had the dream of making society just. His books were all about that. He wanted to change the world. One of the first things that got him interested in communism was a pamphlet by George Bernard Shaw that he found in the library. He said that that sparked uh, an interest in him. Howard's political beliefs, whether defined under a communist banner or not, are irrelevant. He believed that this was the greatest country on earth. The tragedy of America is that often we fall away from our own ideals. Our ideals are beautiful, but we don't always fulfill them in practice. He saw that those were great ideals and that it was worth his life and his soul to try to bring America to them. He thought that the word could change the world. Whether you agree with him or not, you have to admire the man for standing there and putting himself on the line. His progressive stance on many important issues of the day resonated with Pablo Picasso, Eleanor Roosevelt, Pablo Neruda, and any number of, of scientists, Giulio Curie. Many, many people were in touch with him because they understood what drove him, and that was social justice, human equality, brotherhood of man, and an end of war.